a.m. for their provider. Hmm. So and there's a lot of there's a lot of hiccups, but I think it's just a uh, supposedly almost like a half a million people might have signed up for it yesterday. Yeah, so, I mean when it's on, it's on Technicolor. It's beautiful. Yeah, but... yeah. Sometimes it's not on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I could go into that for 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 my awesome thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, WWE Network launched yesterday. We've been waiting on this. We talked about it here on the show when it was first announced. Uh, it's uh, probably the biggest over the top, as in not on cable, basically uh, play. Um, here, I'm going to try to log in so I can kind of show it. Um, yeah there's the usual hey everybody's signing up so we just broke our website kind of issues yesterday there's certain things like um i can't log in on my xbox yet but it seems to work fine on you know again computers on my uh android and ios devices better on my ios devices Uh, the apple tv i heard didn't have it working just yet um supposedly there's supposed to be chromecast but I, i haven't seen any indication of that yet um it was pretty smooth <laughs> on the app side of things. And hopefully the video starts playing here. Uh, this is a little bit of a slower computer, so I don't know how well this is going to work. Uh, but if when you get into it, it it's nice because not only is it like an on-demand Netflixy kind of thing, and it looks like a show's just ending. Uh, that's probably the one I started watching before this show. Um, but it's, this is a live stream. So there's actually programming. They actually line some stuff up like, you know, uh, before and after like Monday Night Raw, there's going to be a pre-show and a post-show. They played like WrestleMania yesterday at five o'clock. They just got done uh, playing a Brett versus uh, Shawn Michaels. Uh, It was actually a DVD that they're kind of rebranding as a uh, Beyond the Ring uh, uh, program on here. But beyond that, I can actually go in and as long as it's something that isn't like premiering that I can tell so far. You can go like into the schedule, and I, my, my screen's not quite wide enough here. Actually, I'll pull this out a little bit, and you can see what's coming up. And if you're like, well, if it's not something live, and it's something I actually want to, you know, you know, watch right now, I can actually click on that and just watch the thing right now. Uh, beyond that, they included um, all the pay-per-views for WWE, WCW, ECW, which is. A- ton of them we're talking like star k going back to 1983 is i think the oldest thing they have do they have the original do they put any of the old school commercials in there or anything you know i haven't seen anything like that they seem to fill uh like whenever there's time in between shows they seem to fill it uh with some kind of kooky stuff it looks like mostly things like you've seen on YouTube or segments mm-hmm. from the show. Like, you know, this wrestler went home to Africa and this is, you know, kind of his homecoming thing and watching him parasailing and, and you, know, uh, you know, off out of the ring kind of stuff like that. Or like, here's some backstage stuff or, hey, we're shooting a commercial for the toys, you know, mm-hmm. um, like it just seems like all that filler content they kind of have a laying around, uh, which has been really, really interesting. Um but in, like, and other than that, like, you know, here they're, they're showing like main event from last week, replays of that. Um, they're not showing the Raw and SmackDown. That's really the only big omission. But they're, of course, still in deals with like USA Network and and uh, uh, Sci-Fi right now. And they're actually looking to rework those. So maybe we'll get something on here. But they have like the first edition of uh, you know, old ECW old, old, uh, shows, Monday Night Raw. I think they, they have like they started with the first episode of Raw. They have a lot of original stuff like they have a... Um, Upcoming, they're going to have a, uh, a reality show with like Roddy Piper and Hacksaw Jim Duggan and all those guys called Legends House. Um, but the big in we'll find out how this works in uh, beginning of April. But now all the pay-per-views are included with this as well, which we had a pay-per-view party where, you know, you know, we went over to, you know, friend of the Mayhem show, Matt Carlin's house. And uh, it was like the last time we're probably going to pay that fifty five dollars to watch a pay-per-view versus. a month and you get everything all inclusive.